well. We came in the motorbike and saved out the brother and I. We weren't very old at the time. We came here, I didn't know it was the first night then. I found out a long time afterwards. But it was very interesting and very exciting. They advertised the midgets coming. The first night, of course, it was very exciting because these Americans, but nearly all Americans, except for Jerry Mass and half what, they were good drivers, those six or seven. They brought down six, I think it was. Our first real star was Frank Hattenborough. I was with him for years, with him till he died actually. Frank went over to America and took him on on their own grounds with a shoestring and made himself a lot of money. Uh, he was the only man ever to this day that owned his own car, done his own motor and travelled from track to track. The Rowley Crowther came to light and Rowley must be one of the best ever in New Zealand. If he'd have gone overseas he would have proved it. Ted Tracy came along and then Graham Stanley came along in present times and I suppose from here on we got young Pickens. You know, all the top drivers that I've mentioned, I've always sort of I've tried to help them or give them a bit of encouragement, even the great Satan Brewer. <laughs> he didn't know how many races he ever won, that man. And he did know one season, he had 87 races and only lost two. The racing has changed over the years, but it's still one of the best outdoor entertainments in New Zealand, probably anywhere that Speedway has run. You know, it's always a value for your money, I think. <laughs>